Hey guys, welcome to the Kane Audio vlog. It is Friday, so it's time for another Ask Me Anything. Uh, usual rules apply. Ask me anything in the comments below this video and I'll get back to you next week with the answers. Uh, before I look at last week's, I don't think there are any real major questions in there this week, so it's probably going to be a quick one. Um, house admin wise, oh, it's Friday the 18th of January right now. If you are one of the guys that has the notifications and you watch this on the day of release, then I will be part of a Mousetrap AMA session on Reddit, uh, well, tonight for me, today for you. Um, let me have a look, actually I've got the details here somewhere. Reddit AMA thread, so it's r slash electronic music if you are a Reddit user. Uh, if you're not a Reddit user, go to reddit.com slash r slash electronic music and you will see it there. There'll be a mousetrap AMA title. Click on that and then ask your questions in the comments. Uh, Friday 18th of the 1st, starting at 9am PST. Uh, I worked that out to be 5 p.m. GMT, uh, if that helps in any of you guys. Um, so, yeah, there's, I think, 20-plus of the Mousetrap artists. We're all doing an AMA to uh, celebrate the uh, release of We Are Friends Volume 8. So, yeah, come ask us some questions there. Um, for you guys watching this video, you know you can ask me anything any Friday anyway, so uh, whatever, but come say hello. Um, I think that's probably about it admin-wise. Uh, I have just done... Uh, I know a lot of you guys ask me to do a mix-down tutorial, uh, and I have just recorded one this week. And I think it's a pretty good one and I've split it up into sections and will probably uh, give it to Sonic Academy first so um, for those of you and again I think most of you guys who follow me on this channel um, are also followers of Sonic Academy so I'll announce more when that happens I, I don't it's not going to be straight away um, so on to last week's uh, Andrew Hollis, hi Dom, uh, keyboard, high five. No questions this week, just a couple of responses to last week's AMA. One, in the behavior section of settings, you can set Bitwig to use what stretch mode you like as default. Aha, I've just loaded Bitwig in the background. Let me have a look because I wanted that window open. Settings, behavior. Ha, would you look at that? Default stretch mode, long samples, right, we can change that to stretch HD, short samples, yeah, raw is fine. On record bounce, uh, right, I'll change that to stretch HD as well because that's the other thing, is every time I record one of my analog synths, I then have to change it to stretch HD. Done, that was as easy as that, there we go, learn something new every day. Uh, number two, regarding mix bus, I know it's on special offer at the moment, so quite cheap, but if people want to experiment on mix downs using a door that claims to have console emulation and is free, uh, they could always give Cakewalk by Bandlab a go. It's basically Sonar Platinum without a lot of the license content and plugins. PC only though, and oh, that's a shame. Um, Okay, there we go. So there's a link if anyone wants on last week's video, I can read it out to you. It's bandlab.com slash products slash cakewalk. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to guess if you Google cakewalk, that'll be the first thing that comes up. Uh, so there we go if you want to try something. Um, in fact, in the mixed down tutorial I've just done, I do sort of explain to people, and I think I've mentioned it several times on these videos, that for me personally, I like to export when I've done a production and I'm happy with it and I'm good with it and I want to move on to the mix down I'll always uh, export the uh, tracks as stems and then import them into a different workstation just so I'm in a different environment and I'm I'm just thinking about the mix down in that environment um, without having to uh, 
sort of keep going back to trying new presets or whatever. Uh, Dead Mouse Cinco. Hi Dom, uh, nice AMA as always. Appreciate your answer on the headphone mixing problem. That's uh, just what I needed to hear for an answer. Can't remember what it was, but you're welcome. A lot of people are saying it is bad to mix on them, but Julian Gray told me that Hayes made his entire schedule EP on headphones, so I'm very happy that I don't have to be worried uh, that much about mixing. Yeah, uh, I can't remember what I did say, but you know, there's a lot of people out there who do everything on headphones, and and you know, um, and they don't have any problems at all. So it's not something I can do personally. Um, I've always been jealous of those guys, the same as. Um, I know a lot of producer DJs, you know, when they're on tour and they sit up in the hotel room and they get their laptop out and they start making tracks on a laptop. I could never do that. When I was touring, I'd open up my laptop and I'd, I'd try and throw stuff together and make a track and it would just be rubbish. And then I'd get back to the studio and plug it in and it would sound horrible and I, I, I could just never do it. Headphones don't work for me. Um, I think I, I'm just too fussy. Uh, and yeah, what do you recommend for techno sound designing? Bass mostly. Uh, that's a kind of a tricky one. I would say the techno bass lines are mostly sine wave with a little bit of saturation. Um, uh, what to look for and how to get the best result in your opinion. So uh, again, a lot of this comes down to the mix down-ish. You need to get your sound design right in the first place. But um, I think, as with any genre, but techno in particular, you know, the way your bass and kicks work together is really important. Um, and I always sort of tell people that a bass line in techno, it, even though it's kind of one of the most prominent things, it's kind of one of the most prominent features of a track, it, it's not the most prominent feature in a mix. So actually what you need to do is just tame it down a bit and bring the levels down of the bass line and let it play underneath the rest of the track and if you imagine you know all the synths and everything are, are layers in your track the bass line is really one of the bottom layers just holding everything else up basically um, so yeah that's probably the only thing I think of right now uh, I'm also changing my alias to Locca or Locha uh, I hope it is not a problem for people to pronounce <laughs> well, there we go is it Locca or Locha uh, I would have said Locca or Loca uh, and is a good name for techno producer. I'm changing it because I want to produce techno music and get myself a unique name. Uh, my previous one was pretty bad, to be honest. Have a great weekend. Keyboard. High five. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I always stuck with my name because I couldn't really come up with uh, an alias, uh, which sometimes works to my advantage and sometimes works against me because if I was to suddenly start making... I don't know, drum and bass, then uh, I'd have to have a new alias because everybody knows my name and then when people ask my actual name when they know my alias, people will get confused. So yeah, I don't know if it was good or bad that I used my real name. Uh, Kavake, cheers Dom, no questions this week, but still enjoying the AMA videos and finding the information useful. Keyboard, high five. 1935 if you go to bitwig's behavior settings oh we've done this the default stretch mode thank you for that um yeah i didn't even know it was there i obviously wasn't there in version one or beta or whatever and you know once you learn a, a workstation and you kind of learn the basics of the settings it's one of those things that you never really check again so yeah lesson learned um on that note actually with bitwig uh, i know a few of the guys who follow this channel and on the facebook group uh the dom Kane producer group um a few of you guys have moved to bitwig uh which is awesome and if you have a look at the Bitwig YouTube channel while you're on YouTube right now, um, have a look at their little sneak preview of version three. I have a feeling we're going to be talking about that at some point. And I know a couple of you guys have gone with modular systems recently as well. So that kind of ties in with where Bitwig are going with the whole build your own devices system. Um, and that looks awesome so yeah we'll definitely be doing a lot more on that soon uh bwo official keyboard high five yanis lockmanis uh keyboard high five uh and that is it for this week so we've kept it pretty much bang on 10 minutes which is cool 
Um, I don't think there's anything to update otherwise. Uh, yeah, just keep the questions coming. I really like them. Ask me anything from sound design to mix techniques. If you've got a problem with a particular sound or whatever, um, or whatever, um, ask me whatever you want. Anything about the industry, about other artists, uh, you name it, I'll answer it if I can. Uh, so yeah, thanks very much for watching and I will see you this time next week and for anyone that wants to join us on Reddit this evening, I'll see you there. Cheers.